Hi, this is Mark Gutkowski and I'm with Binion DeVille Homes here in Palm Springs. Uh, I'm going to take you on a tour of the home behind me. This is a three bedroom, two bath house that I'm bringing on the market. It's 1482 square feet, corner lot, great views of the mountains and a really terrific pool. All right, let's go in and take a look. I'm just going to do a scan here of the front of the house. You see the garage, which as we get inside, you're going to find out that garage is being used as a family room. It's all redone inside and, and the door does open, but it is going to give you uh, storage space outside, sort of a narrow storage area. It's not truly going to be a garage, but you do have the ability to park two cars out front and there's a gate that closes that off. All right, let's go in and take a look. I've just stepped inside the home and what we do is we're going to come into a vaulted living room area that's combined with the uh, kind of with a small informal dining area as well as the kitchen. This is a really nice space. It's got a great feeling. It's got good tile that's on the floor. Uh, the kitchen, which you can see here, is open, which makes it really fun for entertaining. Um, nice dark cabinets. You have this beautiful hard top surfaces with stainless steel appliances. It's very nicely done. As I continue coming all around, you're going to see there's a hallway that goes down to the three bedrooms. There's the doorway that we just came in and the windows. This is a south facing home. So those windows are looking to the south. Now, as I continue coming around, I would mentioned when we were outside that there's a garage door, but it's not currently being used as a garage. This particular space is still considered a garage and it has been opened up. Uh, as a family room though. So there's a slight step down, it's tiled just like the rest of the home, but if I take a look at it, it really is a living space that's been completely done out. It's got a nice window to the east here that goes to the side yard. That's quite a big side yard. I think you could probably put some cars over there if you wanted to maintain this as a family space. Uh, but technically this is a garage, it's not counted in the square footage of the home. Uh, the washer and dryer is still part of this room. It's, as you can see here, it's been, uh, it's been done out as a small closet. And as you continue all the way around, there is going to be an exit to the outside, which is also where the dining and pool is located. I'm picking this up again in the kitchen just because I thought it might be nice to take a good look at how everything looks in here. Again, stainless steel appliances uh, look really nice. This is a GE package. There is a trash compactor as well as a, a wine refrigerator that is underneath the countertop. Uh, again, I'm going to give you a quick view of the living room and swing around so that you can once again see the large opening that's gone into what was once the garage and is now being used as a family room. Uh, permits were taken out when all the construction was done on this particular remodel. Uh, the only permit that of course was not done was for that family space. It, you still need to have a, um, a garage and so technically that is still a garage. All right, well I'm going to step outside now and uh, this is not built in but it's going to be staying with the home. There's a, a great grilling station here. You could put it at any angle that you wanted to. It does move around. And then um, the side yard here is on the north side of the home, so it gives you a nice amount of shade. And then of course you have the mountain view. So that is, that's one of the really terrific things about this particular home is you've got great mountains. Looking back to where we just were by the door coming out from the kitchen, I'm gonna swing around towards the pool because that's really got a great view. The double doors that you see here are to the master suite, which we're gonna see in a little bit when we get inside. And now I'm just gonna come around and give you an idea of how this pool lays out. We're just about at sunset, so um, you can really see the mountains, they're fantastic. You're not gonna see the clarity because there's a little bit of haze and uh, also the sun is gonna be going down behind them. But, uh, you know, really great corner views. Basically, you're at a street corner here sunny dunes and Vista Oro. So you've got a really terrific view. This pool is great. It's got a tanning shelf with an area to put in uh, an umbrella. You can see that right there, that gray sphere or gray circle you see on the right hand side. That pops out so that you can put in an umbrella. Uh, you would want to use a metal umbrella, not a wood one that would expand and get stuck. And then there is also the spa, which is raised in the distance. And then there are um, fountains that are along the right-hand side 
of the pool so that you can uh, turn those on and get some cooling action in the summer. And if you want to cool the pool down, you can always keep those running to make it so that you have um, the water circulating out into the cool air in the evening. I'll step over to the other side of the pool and we'll take a look at what it looks like. I've just turned on the jets and as you can see they grow. Uh, you can adjust these to be any height you want. Right now they're adjusted to sprinkle into the middle of the pool. Um, Sunny Dunes can have some noise on it. It is one of the roads that has a little bit of traffic, especially during the day. And you can see my shadow there with the sun. Um, this would be a way to knock out some of that sound if that were going to be a problem for you. Uh, this looks back across the front yard, so that's where we started this whole event. And then there's, of course, a sitting area over on this side. So this home, you basically can kind of circle all the way around and enjoy it. I'm going to come back, take a look at the raised spa, and again, give you an idea of what the pool like, looks like from here. Before I head back in, I just wanted to take another look here at the outside grilling station. Uh, it does have a refrigerator that uh, is for beverages and whatnot. That's the doors that go outside from the dining room area. These are the windows that are directly over the sink. And then as I come around, the first window is to the master bath and then the master bedroom. And this will probably shine out because there's a lot of sun, but we're looking at the sunset over the western mountains from here. I've gone down the hallway a little bit from the living room and I'm going to come around so that you can see the hallway bath. This is the main bath that services the front bedroom and the corner bedroom. Uh, this has a slate floor, which is a little different than the floor that goes through the rest of the home, uh, which is a porcelain tile. And the slate floor has a jacuzzi tub and then you have some new fixtures in there that are really quite attractive, the red walls, as well as having a skylight that is uh, bringing in some nice natural light. So that's, that's going to be attractive as well. And of course you have the vessel sink right here. And then as I come around uh, and do a pan shot, the first door you're going to see is the master. We're going to, well, we might as well go in. You can see me here doing the filming in the, in the mirror that's at the end of the hallway. The master bedroom is a nice size. It's got a large closet with sliding doors on it. And uh, carpet is in this room. In fact, all the bedrooms have a nice shag uh, plush carpeting. As you can see, this is the double door that we have noted when we were looking out in outside. And I said that this is here and then the master bathroom window was next to it. And I'll just go ahead and swing in and show you the master bathroom as well. So this is a steam shower. And there I am again. This is Mark Kowski, by the way. If you have questions about this home or any home in Palm Springs, just give me, just contact me. I'm at markgps.com. That's markgps.com. Uh, this bathroom is really quite pleasant. It's uh, compact, but it's got all the features that you could possibly want, which I think is totally terrific. And then as I continue out of here, I'll finish up with the rest of the master suite. And then we can just walk across the hall and take a look at the other two bedrooms, the first of which is called the middle bedroom, and we'll step into there. The other two bedrooms are very nice, and they're compact. They're not overly large bedrooms, but they're really quite pleasant. This is the middle bedroom, as I call it. It's between the living room and the corner bedroom. This is gonna be a south-facing bedroom, which is gonna be looking out to the front yard, which is also where Sunny Dunes is located. It's got a nice double mirrored uh, closet door, good size and also the plush carpet that we had seen that was in the master. Between this bedroom and the corner bedroom, which is gonna be on the southwest corner of the house, there's a closet that's locked here. I'm not gonna open it up, but that's where uh, a bunch of, of product has been, uh, has been stored. This has been used as a, a profitable rental in the past. Uh, and then I come to the corner bedroom. The corner bedroom, again, it's about the same size as the bedroom we just saw. Uh, it too is facing towards the south, so it's going to have nice light and it has a comparably sized large mirrored closet. All right, well that's that's it for this home. If you have questions or you want to take a look at it, there's a virtual tour on my website. It's markgps.com. Uh, and if you have any questions, as I said, my name is Mark. Just contact me and I would be happy to help you with taking a look at this house or literally any home in Palm Springs. All right, take care.